My will is not my own, is yours. Tries to be. Zer bows humbly as you approach. I apologize for abducting you earlier, he says, but I was not given a choice. It was the will of the great star horse. Zer gestures grandly, and you sense the aspect of a horse teasing at the edges of your mind. As you can see, the horse has entrusted me with treasures from across the Paraverse, realities different from our own. To gaze upon such impossible objects would rend the minds of most, but you... Zer nods deeply and speaks with hushed reverence. You have been chosen by the horse. A neigh echoes through your mind. Oh my god. I have been told to reward your triumphs in the dares of eternity, and I must obey. Go, compete, and claim these fantastic treasures as your own. Obtain a treasure keep it bleeding around in dares of eternity. You. Rapidly defeat commands in dares of eternity. Defeat champions, defeat commands with weapons in the power slot. Okay. I'm not sure if I'm worried about any of these. Whoa! Armor lock! <laughs> That's funny. I think these are the marathon armors. That's the armor armor. What? This? Ah, yeah, I guess I can see that. And then you get a little halo band. Adorable. And then there's a... Uh Ornament for the Gellahorn. Zero asks you to speak to Shahan in the Cosmodrome. Make the quest to get the <laughs> to get it. And then there's the exotic weapon Forerunner. Collect strange coins and bring them back to Star Horse in Eternity. Or four or seven of that. That's nice. To the system. Now I know I need to do a dungeon for that one, so yeah. No fuck. You got sent to Postmaster. So much light here. I suppose I feel Star Horse, Eternal Equin. Hello, Star Horse. Oh my god, alright. There's so much. There's so much here. Where does this go? Oh, it puts us in the dare of his attorney place, but like, without us getting murdered. Ancient skull? Oh. The skulls from a mythical war against the fallen lords. Aha. Uh -huh. The skull has its origins in a dark future, or an uncertain past. Okay, I don't think I'm gonna go. I don't think I'm gonna go on a skull hunt for all the skulls. This skull is ringed with a nimbus. That blinds you with its majesty. Hmm. A 
Uh-huh. Thinking there'd be a skull over here. This skull was pulled from a tank lost in ancient arid war. But how ancient rises the war? The skull tells no secrets, unless you can speak with the dead. Mm. I wonder what all these are in specific reference to, because obviously it's either going to be Halo or Marathon. Alright, let's get out of here. Go into the tower. Gotta pick up my BR. Uh, I don't think we're good. Everything else can get like dismantled or have to be weighed on. Banshee. What do you need? Hear me out, Banshee says as he slams part of a jump ship drive and a data pad on the counter. Your gun uses a Lorentz focuser to channel energized particles. So does this old Echo Clash jump drive. Before it blew up. Unrelated. If we mod your gun with these drive components, we'll be able to give it a lot more. Banshee says before slapping his fist down on the counter. Then he just stares vacantly for a moment and asks, What are you doing here? Oh, right. Hear me out. Banshee says. Your gun uses a Lorentz focuser to... You take the jump drive parts of the datapad before Banshee goes through his plan all over again. <laughs> but this time maybe he'd remember it. Alright. Defeat 50 guardians. Defeat 50 challenging combatants. Defeat... 15 cha champions or high valued uh, targets. And that gives you the Lawrence Driver. Uh, the Lynch, the Lawrence Driver. Catalyst. God. Till next time. All right. Uh, oh, right. Completely forgot about Ada's mission. Whoops, not that way. Ada, hey, what's up? Greetings. Good, Ada says as she types feverishly on her workstation. I used the data you streamed from Europa to make some final adjustments to the device. The original plans from Clovis are out of reach. Whatever he wanted to make from this, it requires theoretical alloys that don't exist. Given what we know about him now, maybe it's best if that vision never comes to fruition. In any case, I was able to use some concepts from the original Forge designs to finish the prototype. It's my own design now. She steps back from the workstation. The processing unit is the final piece. You retrieved it. It's only fair that you get to close this out. Interact with the Loom prototype to connect the processing unit. Alright, cool. I'm here next time you need me. Loom, armor synthesis device. Activate. I can't activate. It requires a hundred synth cord. Oh, what the fuck? So what is this? Is it just the transmog? Incredible. I felt confident in my interpretation of their schematics, but to see it actually working is something else entirely. When I used to think about the armory, about my responsibility to it, the weight was almost unbearable. Even in this body, I felt like I could never get enough air. Now, for the first time in a long while, I feel Relieved and eager. The synth we've produced by this prototype won't provide combat effectiveness, but I will continue to explore possible applications. Perhaps Ikora could use it for disguising her hidden. With more tensile strength, it could reduce maintenance time on Red Jacks. I, I don't know what discoveries lie ahead, but I'm eager to find them. Thank you, Guardian. I can't express what this means to me. Now, shall we give it a try? 
Ina is awestruck at what she has accomplished with the loom and is relieved to have a new beginning for the armory. She thanks Feet for help and expresses excitement about the future. A package containing five synth weave per class. Synth weave allows you to create an ornament of any armor piece you require. Speak with Ada for more information. Sweet. Tying it all together, Ada's mechanical fingers clack away at a glass touchscreen. Initial readouts look promising. Power levels are stable and the operating system hasn't hit any assert uh, assertations. Or uh, no, assert assertions, no assertions. She says the words carefully, meticulously, like they don't fit well around her voice yet. As far as I can tell, the loom is ready for production. Let me give it a test run and see what we got, or what we get. And if it passes quality checks, I'll explain the process. All right. Synth weave is used to unlock ornaments, which allow you to change your armor's appearance. To spend synth weave, you must first be in the appearance customization. Press F1. Go to here. Go to here. Here's where you can unlock and apply ornaments for your legendary armor. Applying ornaments. Selecting any legendary armor piece on this screen lets you modify its appearance. Using the ornament socket, you can apply owned ornaments, unlock new ornaments, or revert an item to its original appearance. Yes, you know, a basic transmog system. That would have been nice from the beginning, but this one works. What else do you want from us? You want to put one on? What else do you want from me? Okay, I'm, I'm actually doing the tutorial. Here it is, the first printing, Ada says tenuously. This is Synthweave, a programmable matter more sophisticated than I've ever seen, significantly more advanced than Glimmer. She hands you a sample of the loom's output. Do the honors of trying it out. You should be able to replicate the physical appearance of some of your armor, though not the material or energy properties. Use Synthweave to create an ornament from your collection of legendary armor. Woo! All right, we'll create an ornament. Hold on. What is this? What is this? While charged with light, reloading or readying a star will consume all stacks. Eh. You convert them to stacks of major damage buff, which are depleted as you damage combats with that sidearm. I've never been a fan of sidearms, so meh. Alright. Oh, uh, what can we convert? Uh, what would be. One of the things I want. Boop, boop. We like the gunsmith's devotion, or rather the annealed shaper robes. These are the like better versions of that. But I like that more. What would be a good one? Oh, that's the that's the one I was looking for before the Braytech researchers robes. This one looks very dignified. I'll go for this one. Let's just see our our legs. Can actually choose something we we prefer. We'll be like that for now. Oh, we didn't play the armor. Here, play. We. All right. Loom requires material input to function. Strands of basic matter that can be repurposed as needed, Ada explains. I've used the Braytech schematics to create smaller devices called threaders. With these, you convert glimmer into synth cord that the loom needs. We should verify the threaders are functioning before anything else. And she just gives us 10,000. Complete any armor synthesis bounty and claim its reward. Uh, yeah, right. All right, Zer, what do you got for us? These are from the nine. We got an exotic engram.
How much does that cost? 97 legendary shards. That's not bad. Telesto! Sixty-seven total Phoenix protocol. Sixty, sixty-two, sixty-two opulent scholar robes. High in mobility, high in discipline. Are these the raid armor? Or the menagerie gear. <laughs> Buying an exotic engram. Fell Winter's Helmet. Powered melee kills create a burst of energy that weaken nearby enemies. Sure. Oh god, that's ugly. And you can't cover the gold part at all. How dare you call it? It's tedious! Ah! What the fuck? I don't use it because it's kind of, it's kind of, it's gonna be useful in a way. Critis is defeated, but it's not the fallen that concern me now. It's us. I've had time to think. Guardians are not immune to corruption. The pursuit of power has divided us before. I don't know what comes next, but I know, I know that we must remain in the light. I see fractures already. If we bend, we will break. Guardians must not use the darkness. This is the Vanguard's official position. The people of this city look to us. Help me show them the way. Sorry, Zvala, but I, I gotta use the powers for like bounties and stuff. And like sometimes stasis is pretty alright. It's still not my favorite, but maybe once we get more of the upgrades, it'll be a little bit more exciting. All right, Defender of Light. Zavala is grateful that you defe defeated Critis, but he now has other concerns. He believes that any compromise regarding the darkness will only lead to disaster. Now that Aramis and her counselor are defeated, Guardians must no longer wield the darkness. He hopes to respect this decision and help defend it. The people of the last city need you now more than ever. That's fucking hilarious, dude. The most disrespectful thing, like everyone just literally doesn't give a fuck about what Zavala wants. <laughs> All right. Well, Zavala, I need to, uh... I need to dick around in, in, in strike, so... Oh, look at this! What is this? A stasis? Bounty! Huh, Zavala? Don't use the darkness and you're gonna give us bounties for stasis? How interesting is that? Requisition approved. Back to the front, Guardian. Alright, let's see what other... Things we can get for running out strikes. I don't know who all gives strike bounties. What do you need? Uh, pulse rifle targets, sidearm targets. Fuck the sidearm oh, one. We'll get the rocket launcher one. Get a random another rocket one. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Get myself to rank a hundred. I'll be pulling for you if I remember. Well, the fallen will continue to claw at the walls of our city unless we strike them down. Beneath the ruins of a cosmodrome, 
in the shadow of an old colony ship, we've located the House of Devil's Lair and the High Civitor feeding them their strength. We must destroy this machine guard and send their souls screaming back to hell. Why is Nightfall locked? Bruh. I'm, I'm 1206. Nightfall's night 1250. That's why. Wait. Ooh, Sepix! Ooh! Haven't done this one for a long time. Got a guy who's just gonna boost ahead anyways, I get it. That's why I think you're plinkety plink plink. The only problem is, uh... Oh, that is not... I don't like bouncy grenades. That's not good. But yeah, this problem- this isn't the SIVA version, so we're not gonna have the epic rock music for this epic strike. The Nightfall version does on Legend of the Rock with the epic rock music. Oh, that's interesting. Oh my god. Alright. Grenade launcher too powerful. Great. The way out of here is sealed. complex. I'll need time. Step of condition complete. It's okay, Ghost. We'll deal with them like we have for the last nine years. Oh my god. Accuracy. Give 
Excuse me, gotta reload my grenade. There we go. I gotta move. Is that all the heavy ammo I'm going to get from here? All right. Oh my god. Big boy. I want to see the Kell of Light, or the House of Light, become all captains. The lair is up ahead, under that colony ship, just on the other side of it. all those devils. Ooh, is that a brig? Oh, jeez. That wasn't there in Destiny 1. Oh my god, I got fucking snipe. Well, they're not gonna ride me, so I'm gonna go eat a sandwich. Yeah, fuck you, loyal hellhound. Fuck you, Christine. I was not that far behind. Slow as fuck. Considering you guys just left me for dead like I was some kind of useless fucking person. Someone told me this was the next mountaintop. I got boozled. What kind of sandwich? Just an encrustable PB and J. This is the Devil's Lair. Hi, Sepix! It's been a while. 
You don't mind me? You, you don't mind if I take a bite, right? Hmm. of the other server to block the shot. Ridiculous. Alright, 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 alright. I see the strat. I forgot this thing had slide shot. Sepix Prime cast a great shadow over our city. With its destruction, the fallen devils will grow weaker. But we must stay vigilant. The fallen are crafty, and they'll find ways to survive. They always do. They always do. <laughs> 